The opposition leader in her budget response raised a red flag about the $50 million allocated to the office of the Prime Minister for entertainment and the hosting of functions. In responding to her claims of fetting with the public purse, the Prime Minister, in his budget contribution, defended the allocation, instead accusing the People's Partnership of spending much more during their 2010 to 2015 term than his government did from 2015 to present. During the Standing Finance Committee, the Finance Minister today revealed his intention to prove the same. I have today instructed the Central Audit Division to audit the expenditure at the office of the Prime Minister in terms of entertainment and uh, other expenses such as maintenance of the Diplomatic Center and so on for the period 2010 to 2015 and the period 2015 to 2024. And I shall lay the report of the Central Audit Committee in the Parliament so that we can see exactly what was spent. He promised the report within three months. The minister was asked if the $67 million allocated by his ministry for salaries and the cost of living allowance took into consideration the rollout of the Trinidad and Tobago Revenue Authority, the TTRA. The TTRA is mobilizing, it's recruiting, it's fleshing out its organizational structure and so on. It's dealing with the, the persons who applied for transfer and so on. There would still be an enforcement division of public servants. So what the ministry officials did is provided for the full year. If around the mid-year we do not need this full amount because the TTR is fully operational, which we expect it will be by the mid-year, then this amount will be adjusted. He admits to this challenge faced by his ministry retaining competent staff and filling vacancies as he says prospective applicants don't seem to be attracted to the terms and conditions offered sometimes when you go out you just don't get the quality of staff you're looking for because people can earn so much more in the private sector so it's, it's a little problem for us but we're going to keep at it because we need legal officers it specialists and criminal investigators in the inland revenue when the item of house rates appeared again, this time to the tune of $100,000 under the finance ministry, Colman Bird was asked for a proper detailed explanation as to what exactly is house rates. How long it has been outstanding and whether or not this payment will wipe out all arrears because that is how you described it on the previous occasion. I will most certainly provide you that information and I will urge the public servants to clear this off so it no longer appears as a line item. Between half a million and one million dollars of public monies, it was revealed, is lost annually via pension payments when pensioners die and their relatives fail to inform the state. And MTS was in for commendation by the minister for saving his ministry from sabotage. I must also commend the security services for the great work they did in 2024 to catch somebody who tried to sabotage the air conditioning system in the Ministry of Finance head office and attempted to flood all the floors of the ministry. That person was detected by our security, apprehended, arrested and charged. It was announced that the Finance Ministry made its last $15 million annual payment to the Central Bank for the Eric Williams Financial Complex. That means the state now owns the complex. Urvashi Tawari, Rupnarayan, TV6 News.